I've been seeing posts like this pop up on social media lately of people's Power World servers being hacked and even worse, their home network getting DDoSed. And that's why I'm making today's video on why most people shouldn't create free dedicated servers and should opt for a hosting service instead. Now, this isn't going to apply to very, very technologically savvy users, but rather the average gamer who's just looking to create a server to play with friends. Now, before I get into my reasoning, let's go into the differences between a free server in which you host on your computer and the hosting services online as I know some might not understand the difference if you're absolutely brand new to hosting on Palworld. So hosting Palworld on your personal computer grants you complete control over the server settings and customization. However, it demands a high level of technical knowledge from setting up the server to maintaining it, including handling game updates and security measures against potential online online threats. There are some good tutorials on YouTube on how to set up these things, but if you don't understand basic concepts like network configuration and server security, you could seriously screw up your system safety and data privacy, leaving you vulnerable to hackers. Additionally, the performance and accessibility of your Palworld server would heavily depend on your computer's hardware and your internet connection quality. So if you have a bad computer or you're located in an area without good internet, then you might run into a ton of issues. On the other hand, hosting services ensure that the server is always online with minimal latency and high performance, which is crucial for Palworld. They also make everything incredibly easy to set up. So even if you're a complete noob with technology, you can get a server set up and running in no time at all. The only downside is that you have to pay for these servers, but when the prices are as cheap as $20 a month, I personally think it's absolutely worth it for the peace of mind so you don't have to worry about any hackers getting onto your computer or into your server. Now before I get into more reasons as to why I'd personally avoid setting up your own dedicated Palworld server on your computer, I'd like to showcase these three different Palworld server hosts that I think are reasonably priced and offer fantastic services if you guys are interested in hosting your own Palworld server. Now the first one is Game Team, which is probably my favorite and I'll have the links down below to every single one of these servers hosts. With those links, you can get discounts as well and it also helps me out on this channel. So if you really are interested in getting your own server, I highly suggest using those links. But with Game Team, they offer so many different games, but what we're focusing on today is Palworld. And the reason I really love Game Team is because their servers are absolutely reliable. There's been a massive influx of people going to Game Team to start their very own server just because of how popular Palworld is today. And their servers have been able to handle it absolutely no issue at all. They also have data centers all across the world. So no matter where you're located, you can set up a server in no time. And they also have a ton of support. They have a bunch of tutorials on their website. In addition to that, they have 24 seven support. So if you ever have issues with your game team server, you can always contact their support team, which I think is fantastic. The next service host is Shockbite, and Shockbite is also just as good. I do believe Shockbite is slightly cheaper than Game Team, not by much, and I'm not sure these servers are as reliable, but I do still think it's a fantastic option, maybe more of a budget option especially for those that don't plan on playing with that many friends. They also have a 24 seven support team, which is fantastic. And if it's your first time ever setting up a game server, their support team makes it so easy to do. But honestly, you probably won't even need it. That's how easy it is to set up a server. Now, the last hosting service is Apex Hosting, which is also a fantastic option. Although I haven't used it for Palworld, I have used it in Minecraft. And in Minecraft, it's super reliable. So I'd just assume it would carry over in pal world as well they make everything incredibly easy to do and apex hosting is one of the longest running hosting services ever so there's a ton of tutorials to help you out if you ever get stuck on anything okay with those out of the way all of them will be linked down in the description and i'll try and pin the top comment with them as well but let's get more into the reasons as to why i avoid running any type of server on my computer especially as someone who's not very technologically savvy in creating my own server so when hosting a power world server on your computer the first hurdle is the technical setup this involves configuring your server software ensuring your computer 
meets the game's system requirements and managing network settings like port forwarding to allow external connections. This process requires a good understanding of network configurations and server management. In contrast, hosting services often offer one-click setups for popular games like Pow World, eliminating the complexity of manual server configuration. And this is absolutely true. If you ever want to install like mods on your server in the future, when you use a service host like Game Team, it takes one click. You literally click one button and you get mods on your server instantly. Whereas if you're hosting on your own computer, you need to understand how to download those mods and then install them correctly without getting a virus and all of that. So that's honestly the biggest reason as to why I love these hosting services is because they just make everything so much easier. Now the next thing to consider is performance. Performance is crucial for a smooth gaming experience. Hosting on your own computer means the server's performance is tied directly to your hardware capabilities and internet connections. For a game like Power World, which might demand significant resources during peak times or when you have multiple friends playing on a server, a personal computer might struggle without high-end specifications. Hosting services, on the other hand, utilize power servers with optimized network connections. This ensures low latency, high uptime, and the ability to handle multiple connections without degradation of your performance. So if you plan to play with multiple of your friends, you definitely want to have a high performing server. And if your connection at home or your computer aren't that good, it won't be able to withstand a lot of players on your server, especially with a game like Pow World, which is so brand new and there's so many performance issues already. You don't want to tack on your own computer that doesn't have very good performance and multiply that to the already buggy Pal World game. Now another big issue I have with hosting your own free dedicated server on your computer is security. Security is another massive aspect especially when opening your network to external connections. A personal hosting setup requires you to manage security measures yourself including firewalls and protection against DDoS attacks which are common in online gaming servers. And there are already instances, as I showed earlier in this video, of people getting hacked because they didn't have the proper security measures set in place because they didn't really understand how to set up their own server. Hosting services provide built-in security features, regular updates, and professional support to mitigate these risks, offering peace of mind in safeguarding your servers and players. Now you can take this comment from a fellow YouTuber who basically summarizes the security risks of running your own server on your own computer. When someone asked his opinion on free dedicated servers on your own computer compared to hosting services, he stated, this is fairly dangerous stuff to do without being a knowledgeable sys admin. If you make a mistake like not uploading a security patch, modifying firewall rules, or something else, you could have your server get hacked, send out really bad stuff, and then have the FBI come knocking on your door. If you really want to go down this route, I recommend looking for Steam, and then he tells the user to just be careful, and that they should know enough operating sysadmin stuff to prevent anything bad from happening, but if you don't know any of that stuff, this is one of the main reasons why I suggest people avoid setting up their own free dedicated host. And the next reason for why I tried to avoid hosting on my own computer is that the cost of doing so is not as it seem. While hosting on your computer might seem cost effective initially, the need for potential hardware upgrades, increased electricity usage, and internet bandwidth can add up. Hosting services offer scalable plans that can adjust your server's needs, ensuring you only pay for the resources you use. So basically when you use a hosting service, if you only have four to five players that plan to play on your server, you can choose the most basic plan and then you won't end up spending that much money. Additionally, you can split the costs between all your friends planning to play on the server. So it'll realistically be like a couple dollars a month, which is absolutely nothing. Whereas on the other hand, it might seem free to host your own server, but you never really think about the electricity costs or the internet bills that come with that. And another huge point is the community and support that comes with these online hosting services. 
Troubleshooting server issues, applying updates, or making configuration changes can be massive daunting tasks, especially when you're not technologically savvy and don't really know what you're doing. Hosting services, on the other hand, provide 24 seven support from experts familiar with Power World servers, offering guidance and solving issues much faster than one might manage on their own. And for all these reasons are why I choose to use a dedicated online hosting service that is able to set up basically everything for me at a very cheap cost. And if you want to check out some of those services or the seven best, I made an entire video on that, which you can click right here. But it's been your host Sauce from the Viral Kingdom, and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. See you later.